All right, so we're out hunting for the internet. We're looking for internet infrastructure that's all around us. Uh, where are we right now? So we're on one of the main thoroughfares in Buffalo. Um, this is a busy pedestrian street, kind of right in the middle of things. Um, and we are parked outside a pretty unusual building. So behind me is this building. Um, you can uh, see it's this uh, quite an impressive sort of monumental structure. It has this beautiful uh, green marble base, beautiful uh, brick building, uh, boss reliefs along the sides of it with these really interesting, um, you know, almost look like Greek myth scenes from Greek mythology. Um, now this building has a logo on it of a local telecom provider, okay? So it clearly uh, is part of the infrastructure of a company in town whose name I won't mention because I don't want to get in trouble. Um, but what's interesting about this is this is a huge building, okay? You can see it behind me. It spans maybe a quarter of the block, goes back quite a bit as well. So there's a lot of space inside this building. And yet, as far as we can tell, there's nobody there. Um, there's a sign on the door that says they don't want UPS to drop anything off. Um, and in the parking lot in back that's reserved for employees of this company, there's like two cars there, one of which is a company truck. So what is this building? Why is it here? Um, so infrastructure like this you can find all over the place in this country. And buildings like this were created by telephone companies a long time ago, and they were used to house all of the switching equipment that was required to operate old telephone network. So at some point in time, this is my suspicion. Now, we haven't talked to representatives from this company, and we haven't been in there, and they probably wouldn't let us in there. Um, but what I suspect is that this is a building like that. So this is a building that used to be a, some sort of uh, switching station for this telephone company. This used to be responsible for connecting local calls and maybe connecting people to some sort of long distance line. And at the time, there was quite a bit of infrastructure that was required to power this. Um, now, on the other hand, um, that uh, all those electronics have been miniaturized to a really uh, impressive degree. And so what's happened is that all the space that they created inside this building that they were using for these really big machines, those machines have been shrunk down. Um, I read somewhere that you can run the whole switching network for a small town out of a machine that's the size of a uh, pizza box. And clearly you could fit quite a few pizza boxes in the building across the street from me. Um, so. So what's going on in there? Um, now, right, so now they have all this empty space. There's really no humans that are required to operate this machinery. That's why there's no one around. Um, so what's in this building? Um, again, I haven't been in there, so I can't say for sure. But what I suspect is that the phone company is using this now to house other infrastructure that's related to the, the internet services that they provide. So there's probably racks of computers. There's probably a little server room in there of some kind uh, with computers that are providing various functions that run on this company's network. Um, uh, there's another clue. We were able to look at this building from the roof using Google Maps, and what we noticed is that uh, there's quite a bit of cooling infrastructure up there as well. So for a building like this, if it was empty and there was nothing interesting inside of it, why would you have to keep it cool? But if there's a number of computers in there that are powered on, those computers generate heat and they need to be cooled, and that would explain some of what we saw on the roof. Um, and so this is kind of an interesting example of this kind of infrastructure. Um, infrastructure like this is normally considered to be at least somewhat sensitive. Uh, that's one of the reasons that, you know, there's not a lot of uh, advertising about what this building is or what it does. Um, and and the, the phone company would probably not want to talk about what's going on in there simply because it's, it, it's important. This is an important part of the connectivity infrastructure in this country. Uh, so here's a little introduction to this. Um, you know, I just saw a police officer go by. So before we get in trouble, uh, I think I'm just going to like... Uh, get out of here but uh, you know keep your eye out for things like this in your own community uh, but if you do want to catch a view you know don't don't linger for too long